dear friends good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on the time zone you are present in i am dr bv mehta executive director of the solvent extractors of india from mumbai i would like to thank the gapki for inviting me to share my thoughts with the mover and shaker of edible oil world on the subject palm oil market in india update on covid 19 impact let me first introduce my organizations the solvent extract association of india better known to you all as sc of india is a premier and largest association of vegetable oil in india having about 800 members across the country very similar to what gapki is in indonesia my organization is also an ngo in the trade promotion organization recognized by the government of india we are also involved in lot of extension activity for oil seed development program as well as csr activity all the importers of edible oil at the refiners are the member of this association we work with the industry players the government agency the decision makers in the and the multiple global organization government to promote the growth and development of the trade and the industry within border as well as across the borders i have been asked what is the covid-19 india status we all are currently living in the sticky time where covid-19 is practically destroying the confidence across the whole of world india is no different as of 19 november india had registered around 9 million covid-19 cases with the better treatment care and precaution the number of daily cases is gradually slowing down and daily new cases have reduced from peak of 97000 to 35000 turn 35000 per day and the recovery rate is quite high 92 to 93% and improving further and all the hopes are now being pinned on vaccine which is hopefully in the last stage of development the last few months have taught us that the prediction of the future price behavior of commodity market need to be taken with a pinch of salt when the whole world was facing with the grave situation of covid during march to june we saw a massive demand destruction in edible oil oil and sudar's way were saying that we will be witness the historical low as far as the edible oil was concerned how wrong we have been in this reading of unfolding the scenario can be goes from the fact that now arbi pamolin climbed to high of 885 dollar while soya touch 970 and sunflower oil historic high of 1100 dollar at this season as on 17 november 2020 so where did we go wrong first the massive inflation of fund by fed resulted into the weakening of the dollar second leading economies including europe china india japan all increased the liquidity in the system to tide over the covid related economic woes this free money in the system found its way to the commodity fueling and inflationary pressure depleting stock at the producing countries like indonesia and malaysia and also consuming country like china and india china heavy appetite for the edible oil to create a reserve and of course the malaysia and indonesia are decision for b30 biodiesel this all has fueled the price in the world now let us look at the indian scenario the main topic of my presentation india grows of various types of oil seeds depending on the climatic condition at respective location currently about 26 billion hectare is under oil seed oil seed farming india was fortunate to have the normal rain in the last 3 years and average production of oil seed is estimated between 28 to 30 million tons apart from india produce about 11 million tons of cotton seed and half a million tons of copra or what you call is the coconut you'll surprise 
the total turnover of the industry is over US dollar 33 billion, employing about a million people apart from 20 million farmers growing the oil seeds. Now look, look, look at the current scenario, Indian scenario, where we stand today. Soya in groundnut output this year is higher as compared to the last year, in spite of damage caused by the floods. Soya and groundnut price in India are higher by 10 over the minimum support price, which is browning point for the Indian farmers. The rapeseed planting is expected to be higher this rapeseed by 10 to 15 percent over the last year, thanks to high domestic price, which may result into higher realization for the farmers. Overall oilality of vegetable oil during oil year 2021, that is November from October, is expected to be higher by about 1.1 to 1.25 million ton. The high price of vegetable oil is likely, likely to shrink the demand in the current year. Let us look at the edible oil consumption in India. The chart which you are showing on the screen shows the consumption pattern in 2001, 2002, 2008, 2009, and 2018 19. Palm oil accounts for nearly 40% of the total consumption of edible oil, followed by soya and rap or mustard oil. Palm oil is more popular in hospitality, in restaurant and catering, popularly known as the Horeca segment, while the raw mustard oil, popularly known in India as the Kachigani, is in demand in the northern and eastern part of the India. Sunflower oil and coconut oil are more preferred oil in the southern India. Rice wine oil as a, as a health oil and the cotton seed oil as good frying oil also gaining the popularity in India. As I, I said earlier, palm oil share in the consumption is the highest if however is being mainly used in the Horeca segment and lesser in the domestic household. In India, the perception of around palm oil is that it is still considered the cheap oil for the poor men. Please excuse me for using the word poor men and hence it is seldom gets entry into the kitchen of better class to upper class. My humble suggestion to friends from the GAPKI and Indonesia government is to start image makeover campaign to change this mindset in India, which may lead to increase the demand for palm oil from household sector. In fact, the last two years, we are discussing with the Indonesian government to start this campaign. Now let us turn into import of edible oil. You can see this chart from the screen of the data of the last five years. Nearly 70% of the Indian requirement of edible oil is met through imports. During the oil year 2019 to during the oil year 1920, import of edible oil reduced by nearly 1.8 million tons due to demand destruction during second half of the year, courtesy to COVID-19. Also import of RBD palm oil in 2019-20 drastically reduced to just above 400,000 tons from 2.73 million tons previous year, mainly due to 5% safeguard duty imposed on 4th September 2019 by government of India and later placing RBD Pamoli in the restricted category with effect from 8 January 2020. These reasons resulted into the lower imports of palm oil in reduced to 7.2 million tons in 2019-20 as compared to the previous year. Now look, uh, look, let us look at these, what happened during a restriction of the import of RBD palm oil changed the import pattern in India. Earlier, India used to import about 80% edible oil in the crude form and 20% in the refined oil. Now practically India is importing edible oil in the crude form only and last year we had about 97% crude oil. Higher import of crude oil has helped the Indian vegetable oil industry to utilize higher processing refining capacity. India mainly imports, as I said earlier, the palm oil from Indonesia and Malaysia, while soya oil from Argentina and Brazil, and sunflower oil from Ukraine and Argentina depend upon the price parity and the spread between palm oil and the soft oils. Indonesia's share on palm oil supply to India is 70 to 75 percent, 
except in the 2019, and Indonesia is the dependent supplier for India. We also appreciate the hard work and efforts put by Indonesia in promoting the sustainable palm oil. Since the India is the largest importer, we would humbly suggest the Indonesian government to reduce the export duty for sustainable palm oil exported to India. This may help create the additional demand from India and push your program for sustainable palm oil. Now let us go to the next slide. Let us look at this table showing the long-term projection for the edible oil consumption in India. The current population in India is estimated to be around 1.33 billion and is estimated to be growing at 1.02% per annum. Considering the growth in population and per capita consumption of edible oil, the oil consumption is likely to increase between 2 to 3% per annum. The projected demand at this growth rate may touch about 24 to 25 million ton by 25-26. Is India is ready to cope up with the demand is a question arising today. The oil seed production is expected to increase from 28 to 30 million tons present to 38 to 40 million tons by 25-26. And vegetable production be raised by just 3 million tons leaving a gap of about 11 million ton to be bridged through import. The quantum of oil depends upon the price parity in the spread between the palm oil and the soft oil. Now let us look at the Indian's perspective in Corona time and the demand for import demand in the current year, that is 2021. Indian edible oil consumption is in 2018-19 was packed at around 22.5 million ton. With the corona-driven demand destruction, we believe in 2019-20, the consumption has come down to 21 million ton, which is also reflected in our lower import. We do not foresee any improvement in the demand in the current oil year 2021 in India. India is a very, very price sensitive market. The current high price are likely to reduce further demand further. You will also not be surprised if we see a further 2 to 3 percent reduction in demand during 2021 equal to half a million ton. High oils and oilseed price in India has also encouraged the oilseed farmer to expand area under oilseeds. As for the rough estimates, India would be producing additional 1 to 1.25 million tons oil domestic during 2021. If the mustard campaign, what is called the ref seed or mustard campaign of the Indian government succeeds, we may even see the total additional, total additional local production of oil going by 1.5 to 2 million tons from 1 to 1.25 million tons, as I said earlier. If this happens, it would be a game changer for India and of course import scenario. Based on our assessment of the higher domestic oil production, of 1.25 to 1.5 million tons in India, coupled with the demand destruction, both of corona and high price, would not be surprised to see the lower number of import during 2021 at 12.5 to 13 million tons. Let me again go back to my topic, impact of pandemic on India. Let me also touch upon the impact of pandemic once the biggest impact of the COVID in India has been the awareness of hygiene and massive change in the con consumer consumption behavior. Out of the home consumption and Horeca segment, demand restriction has been huge. Honestly speaking, I have not visited any restaurants or hotel in the last eight months and practically worked from home only. We, we see some pickup in the demand in take up delivery, but it is not significant. It is slowly reviving. Palm oil is a big sufferer because of the demand. Demand comes of the horeca segments. Soya and sun oils are still not affected. We do not appreciate a V-shaped recovery in edible demand as the fear of corona is difficult to go away overnight. Celebratory consumption is also not likely to pick up anytime soon with the huge restriction imposed by government India 
on assembling of person in place everywhere. The big fat Indian wedding, which used to be attended by 1,000 to 2,000 people at this point of time is not permitted. And we are all, we are all seeing the court marriage become the new novice here. Now, let me conclude my presentation. Indian edible oil demand continues to be subdued due to COVID-19. High price of edible oil also affect domestic consumption. In 2021, the demand may be further lower if the COVID-19 scare continues. Lower production of edible oil is likely to increase by 1.25 million ton. Import of edible oil during 2021 will be around 12.5 to 13.5 million ton. Indian government is under dilemma choosing between the urban consumers and the oilseed farmers whether to change the duty structure is a catch-22 situation. Let's wait and watch. I have also been asked to speak about the price outlook. That is not my domain. The gurus like Dorab Mistri, Thomas Melky, and Dr. James Rai will be speaking, my, speaking after me. I would also like to be happy to hear them like you. I once again thank you all of you for patiently hearing my presentation and look forward to your question, if any, which I will be happy to answer during the question answer sensor. Tarima Kasi.